a young man named Elvis Presley, brimming with talent and ambition, embarked on a journey that would forever change the course of music history. Little did he know that his fateful steps into the Memphis recording service would ignite a revolution, in propelling him to the forefront of a genre that would captivate the world. As Elvis's star began to rise, rumors of another recording emerged, adding an air of mystery to his early career. Meanwhile, on the other side of the country, Bill Haley and his Comets were making waves. With their electrifying rendition of a song that would become the anthem of a new era in music, join us as we delve into the fascinating stories behind these iconic recordings, exploring the pivotal moments that shaped the birth of rock and roll. In the heart of Memphis, a young man named Elvis Presley brimming with talent and ambition, stepped into the Memphis recording service, seeking to capture his musical dreams. Though Sam Phillips, the studio's owner, initially overlooked Elvis's potential, fate had a different plan in store. Elvis returned to the studio, driven by an insatiable passion for music. This time, he laid down two country songs etching his voice onto a two-sided 78 RPM record. These songs, infused with Elvis's unique blend of passion and vulnerability, hinted at the greatness that lay within him. I'll Never Stand in Your Way, a bittersweet ballad, resonated with listeners. While it wouldn't be the same, Without You showcased his ability to deliver heartfelt emotions through his music. As Elvis's star began to rise, rumors of another acetate recording, Casual Love Affair, emerged. However, the recording remains elusive, lost to the sands of time. Perhaps it was a figment of imagination, or perhaps it simply vanished into obscurity. Sam Phillips, driven by his desire to find a white artist who could capture the raw energy and soul of black music, stumbled upon Elvis Presley. Elvis possessed the charisma, the vocal prowess, and the innate ability to connect with audiences that Sam had been searching for. Despite his initial reluctance, Sam eventually succumbed to the allure of Elvis's talent. He recognized that Elvis had the potential to revolutionize the music industry, to bridge the gap between black and white, and to create a new sound that would captivate the world. In the annals of rock and roll history, the debate over the first rock and roll record rages on. Contenders like Fats Domino, Jackie Brinston, Muddy Waters, Hank Williams, and Johnny Ray all lay claim to the title. Amidst this heated debate, Bill Haley and his Comets emerged as pioneers of the genre. Their recording of Rock Around the Clock, released in May 1954, became the clarion call for a new era in music. The song's infectious rhythm and Haley's energetic performance ignited a firestorm of excitement among young listeners, marking a watershed moment in popular culture. Tragically, Danny Cedrone, the guitarist who contributed the iconic solo to Rock Around the Clock, met an untimely demise just weeks after the song's release. He never witnessed the global impact of his work, the way his guitar riffs would reverberate through generations of music lovers. As fate would have it, two pivotal records in the history of rock and roll, Rock Around the Clock, and That's All Right, Mama, were recorded within weeks of each other, seemingly independent of one another. These songs, born from different worlds, converged to shape the destiny of a genre that would forever change the face of music.